Pakistan has a new prime minister and he's one of President Musharraf's staunch opponents. Both leaders will have to address a number of thorny issues, but can they work together? This is Inside Story. Hello and welcome. I'm Jane Dutton. Well, with one of their own now Prime Minister, many Pakistani opposition members are hopeful that politics in Pakistan will change. But old rivalries still divide Parliament. And an expensive alliance with the U.S. dogs the country's military. Hugo McPherson reports on the state of politics in Pakistan and the man who now holds one of the country's highest posts. Pakistan has chosen its new Prime Minister. Yusuf Raza Gilani is not a new face. Known in the Pakistan People's Party for his loyalty, he's seen as a fitting successor to the late Benazir Bhutto. Bhutto was murdered in a suicide attack three months ago. Whatever signs of democracy you see in the country today, no matter how small, they are because of the martyrdom of respected Benazir Bhutto. Gilani, one of Bhutto's most trusted aides, was the architect of the coalition deal involving the PPP and its arch rivals, the PMLN party. He hails from the Punjab province. Densely populated and fertile, it's widely considered a center for the country's political elite. Dr. Famida Mirza has received 249 votes. Last week, the PPP installed the first woman ever to be parliament speaker. Fahmida Mirza is from Sindh province the seat of the PPP. So now Sindh and the Punjab are represented together, the new coalition stands on broad foundations. On Sunday, the cream of Pakistan's armed forces paraded for Pakistan's National Day, and President Musharraf looked forward. I hope that these governments will maintain political peace and will work to sustain the fast growth of socio-economic development in Pakistan and will continue the struggle against terrorism and extremism with the same force. Whichever new government is formed, it will enjoy my full support. But he continues to court controversy, saluting the troops and seemingly oblivious to his new non-military role. While for many it's a day for optimism, warm relations between Musharraf and Gilani are very unlikely. In 2001, Musharraf jailed Gilani on corruption charges in a move some saw as politically motivated. The question remains, can Prime Minister Gilani and President Musharraf work together? Well, joining our discussion today are our guests in Islamabad, Ahmed Raza Katsuri. He's President Musharraf's legal advisor. Also in Islamabad, Tamina Dultana. She's Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz's vice president. And in Dubai, Javed Malik is a political commentator and executive director of the World Forum. Mr. Kasuri, I think let's start off with that question. How will President Musharraf be able to work with him? Well, uh, the president uh, of Pakistan under the constitution is uh, an empire. He's not a player. Player is the government and the opposition. And he holds a whistle in his uh, mouth and he has to watch that the game of uh, democracy and politics is played in accordance with the rules. Cricket should not be played with hockey rules. And if somebody commits uh, wrong, he blows the whistles. And if somebody insists committing wrong again and again, he will show the ye yellow card. And if still somebody is obstinate and committing wrong, then he has a red card, which is Article 58.2b. So the president is... Uh, very powerful uh, under the present constitution. So he doesn't have to lean on the borrowed crutches of the, um, the, the political parties. He draws power, constitutional power from the constitution itself. Okay, now, he is, you, as you say, very powerful, but considering that some of this power has been slightly diminished, the people of Pakistan have spoken, and we've got one of his rivals now as prime minister, isn't this likely to cause some sort of friction between the two? I don't think so, you know, because uh, uh, we have started a very happy beginning. Uh, let me tell you one thing, that uh, this, this fragile sapling of democracy requires uh, discipline, 
Uh, it requires uh, patience and tolerance. And if uh, democracy is without discipline, it turns into a vandalism. Today, I mean, that kind of a vandalism was visible in the galleries of the National Assembly. Even uh, Makhdoum Amin Fahim, the leader of the People's Party, in a very strong term condemned the, the hooliganism which was seen by the entire world. So between democracy and hooliganism, there's a threadbare uh, distance of discipline. If, uh, okay, let, let me bring is, in Ms. Dultan in now. Will the two gentlemen be able to work together? That We know that there are calls for President Musharraf to be removed from office. Yes, of course, we feel that President, uh, I mean, General Musharraf should be removed and he should not be uh, kept uh, uh, as a president because he is not legally and constitutionally a, pe a president. He is just a retired army general and he has no right to go and sit in the army house and to be there. So, um, and I personally feel and uh, my party feels very strongly that, uh, that uh, we should not take oaths. Uh, uh, you know, the pre ministers should not take oath from uh, the, the general because he is not legal and constitutional. Mr. Balak, it certainly seems that a confrontation is inevitable. Uh, yeah, well, I would just like to say this, that today is a day of um, triumph for democracy in Pakistan. And what uh, Mr. Kasuri has dismissed as hooliganism was actually jubilation uh, in, in parliament where people felt that the people had spoken. Uh, the President Musharraf, as you have rightly said, did have the support of the last parliament from which he got elected. But the current parliament, which enjoy the support of the people, uh, unfortunately, President Musharraf has never taken vote of confidence from this parliament. So whilst we have a prime minister who has been duly elected, and mind you, it is for the first time in the recent history of Pakistan that a prime minister has emerged who has the support not just of his own party, but also the support of the PMLN, uh, the ANP, ANP in the frontier province, as well as the MQM, who are an ally of the previous government. So you have a prime minister who is very powerful, and then you've got a president who does not have the support of this parliament. So there may be a confrontation, but the confrontation may be between principles of democracy and dictatorship. The current government has spelled out that they would like to remove 58-2B, which is a controversial amendment which empowers the president uh, to dismiss parliament. Now, a large number of uh, the community, especially the democratic uh, community in Pakistan, feel that parliament should be supreme and that one person should not have an arbitrary right to dissolve parliament, what Mr. Kusri referred to as a red card. Okay, Mr. Kasiri, in the light of all of that, a confrontation that is some that has been concerning Musharraf is that with the judiciary. We know that uh, um, the new prime minister has called for the release of the ch ten judges. How is this going to play out? Well, this, this is a, a, a good gesture by the by the new prime minister, but uh, it doesn't mean that uh, they have been restored to the third of November position. Uh, that will uh, uh, have its own course of action because uh, presently there are four options which are being discussed uh, regarding the restoration of judiciary. Number one is that they say that through an executive order they can be restored. Another option is that through a resolution of the parliament. And the third option is that through a, a legislative act by simple majority. And the fourth is through a constitutional amendment. And uh, the view of the uh, jurist in this country is that uh, it requires a constitutional amendment. Two thirds of the both the House in a separate sitting they have to bring amendment because the PCO and uh, the state of emergency, uh, which was uh, announced on the 3rd of November 90, 2007, and the PCO along with it, they uh, 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 they, they, they were referred to the Supreme Court of Pakistan. And the Supreme Court of Pakistan validated the, the action of the president. And later on, uh, these matters were referred to the joint sitting of both the houses before 15th of November 2007. And both the houses confirmed the decision of the, uh, of the president regarding the dismissal of the judges. Therefore, this matter is now past and closed uh, transaction. And it's a, it's a st story of the past. 
it's the, the, the wheel of history can't go back. If you want to go back, then you have to restore the judges who were sent home in 1999. Okay, and let's look forward. Now, we're going to bring uh, Daltana in now. How is it going to work with your party and the PPP? There have been rivalries going on for years, and uh, you sort of famously threw your shawl at uh, the former PPP president. How's that going to work now? Um, now, the thing is this. Uh, if you are asking the question from me, is that uh, uh, is that uh, uh, there are now we don't have any rivalries between ourselves and the PPP because we feel at this moment we should leave everything behind and do what we can for our country. And um, I went and met uh, uh, the Chief Justice uh, and uh, the People's Party people were there, we were there, like we were together in the Parliament when we even voted for uh, Yusuf Raza Galani, and we all have voted for him. And at the moment, we are not considering ourselves, but we are considering what is good for Pakistan. And it is good for Pakistan that there should be a free judiciary, a judiciary which is answerable to the uh, people of Pakistan, a judiciary which gives justice to the people of Pakistan, and a parliament which is supreme. Because after God, it is the people of Pakistan who should be supreme, and they and the people they elect in the parliament. So, at the moment, we all have got together for one purpose: is to make Pakistan progress, to uh, to take Pakistan forward, and not to go into small parties uh, lines that uh, this is my party or that. We will I'm sure have the Pakistanis elections. will, we will be delighted to hear parties. that. On that note, at the moment, we're going to be taking a short break. Now, excuse me interrupting you, but when we come back, we'll talk about the other issues both Gilani and Musharraf have to address. Do stay with us.